Walking into the volleyball gym at Scotus Central Catholic, you would have no idea the team, led by four seniors, had a losing record. You would also have no idea the team was a large mix of classes with a freshman libero and a sophomore setter. It was really fun, but I don't really think that it like mattered that there were a lot of upperclassmen because we were just like, there wasn't like, a, like any divide. We were just all a team and we just got along great, so that was good. Brooke stepped in as libero in the second half of the season, around the same time many girls were playing next to different people and in new positions. Junior Mallory Dreesen ended the season with experience in all three spots across the front row. I was, I was kind of worried at first with all like the constant changes, but in the end I do believe Coach Julie made the right decisions and right changes and everyone was up for a change and we all just went along with it and like I said, that's part of why we were successful at the end. After a rough regular season, the team reverse swept both the number one and number two seeds in the sub-district to advance to the district final for the first time since 2018. Head coach Janet Tooley believes the four seniors brought the team back to a higher standard. This group really bought into, okay, this didn't work. I'm willing to change something up and give it a try for the team. I just hope that every one of these girls through the juniors and seniors hanging together, and that's especially on the senior class. You always have to rely on your seniors. It just led to uh, a culture of, we'll do it for each other, and we're in there for each other. After a successful postseason and overall positive year, the Shamrocks are bringing the team back to success. The volleyball program has recognized the importance of positive leadership and determination.